Hey guys, and welcome back to Colony Wars. Let's continue. No, we're not going to save. We just saved. We've pretty much pushed our way into the soul system. We could feel oh, the heat hello. of soul as we drew close to the earth. This was the place our ancestors had set out from so long ago. Now, though, the earth signified nothing to us except tyranny and oppression. It was a war that left a legacy of pain and destruction. Now it was within our power to consign centuries of genocide to the wastes of history. With one final assault, we could avenge our forefathers and destroy the Empire forever. That was what we believed and what we hoped for. It was up to us now, and us alone. Well, well, well. Let's give it our best shot. The final descent sequence has now been triggered. Coordinates and automatic target points have been located and logged. Battle units in transit from outlying barracks are reporting at short intervals. Heavy bombardment of enemy craft in the vicinity of Earth is continuing. Nice! Attempts are being made to stifle the supply of military craft to hostile air bases. A Navy carrier craft of substantial capacity has been identified in the Earth zone, close to the planet's moon. It is loading a cargo of high-velocity fighters for use in close battle situations. You are required to approach the space station where loading is currently underway. The carrier and enemy fighters in the vicinity are to be destroyed. Good luck. All righty then. So, this looks like it's going to be a, a mash and run mission. Well, we've got a somewhat decent craft to do that with. I mean, it's mid-tier, I guess, at best. Let's go see what we have. Hopefully we have some fairly decent weapons on board, but... My guess is we've got quite a lot to destroy here. Whoa! Let's go in heavy. You know what I mean? Let's see if we can't destroy this thing. Or at least heavily disable it before we do anything too severe. There we go. Oh, baby. Baby, you've had enough already. Let's get a better view so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Permanent damage. Let's get some lasers going. Don't really want to waste too much ordnance because we don't know what else is coming. Yeah, man. Let's give it some uh, good old bit of laser death here. That is a big carrier. We're definitely going to want to pop this motherfucker. At least we have the tools for the job this time. They've made us? Made us what? What are you talking about? Speak English, pilot, for fuck's sake. Oh, she's going up. Whoa, she went up big. She went up so big it knocked us for six. Okay. Pretty sure that's not meant to happen. She's dusted. Looks like we've got some more fighters here. Cool. We can handle... Ooh, hello. Let's get to work on these bad boys. Enemy Typhoon, hey? Yeah, that looks like something a little bit special. That's okay. Good old scatter laser should be enough to take this thing out. Kind of got to get used to flying in this view again. Actually, quite like this view. Haven't made much use of it this time round. So I guess these are the high-velocity fighters we had heard so much about. That's fine. This is a good little view here for some laser porn, actually. Oh, it would be if this giant sun, or well, technically that's our sun. Our sun's in the way. Yeah. So if you're not using AS shield lasers. You're only doing 25% damage to the hull. Or 25% damage to the shields, I should say. I'm not sure how scatter lasers perform. I think scatter lasers... 
kind of a little bit more universal. Not really sure. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Finish them off with the decent lasers. Come on. What are you dumping flares for? I mean, we're not using missiles here. He's done. Okay. Nice and easy to start off with. That was a big carrier that we just popped. Very satisfying stuff. Quite happy to pop that guy. That's for sure. Oh, we actually lost a fighter. That sucks. We're still just the upholder of the law. The yeah, we're League back is in now the eclipse. To take decisive action in the region of Earth. Navy forces are defending in substantial numbers. However, intermediate reports indicate that a lack of organization among some enemy units is allowing League forces to advance further. Nice. Fierce retaliatory measures are evident throughout the Earth zone. Units must endeavor to break through cordons and concentrate the final assault on Earth itself. Hmm. Intense enemy action is reported in a region bound by the Earth and its moon. Titan craft are uh -oh. present in this area. If we are to weaken the enemy force significantly, these Titans must be destroyed. Engage enemy units and ensure the destruction of all such craft. All such craft? Is this the mission where there's two enemy titans? Possibly. <laughs> uh, or is it three? If it's three, that's problematic. If it's two, that's manageable. As long as we can get in, disable them, hit them hard and hit them fast. If there's three titans, well, I don't know, chief. That's pretty extreme. But then, ooh, sweet Jesus. I mean, fair enough, we are kind of assaulting the home fleet here. And the home fleet is always going to be a fairly well organized. Can we select. Uh oh. There we go, that's what we want from the Titan. Didn't mean to actually hit that there. Alright, let's take this son of a bitch offline. If we can. They're launching eclipses, that's cool. Now, I don't know if these can still launch fighters, to be honest, if they're disabled. I guess we're going to find out. Come on, you sack of shit. Let's permanently put you down. Come on. Wow, this thing takes... There we go. Permanent damage. Cool. So that thing can go at it. We've got enemy typhoons here. Let's see if we can disable these sons of bitches. Shouldn't take too much to disable. He's done. Let's finish him off with this. Now I'm guessing these guys... Who's saying Mayday? Right. Let's take out this Titan here. So what else have we got? Yeah, it is just the one so far. Maybe another one's going to decloak after we've dealt with this one. That's fair. Only having to deal with one of these at a time. Because otherwise, that would be brown trouser time. Right, he's done. Now, we're going to want to back the fuck up rather significantly because last time one of these big ships popped kind of blew us into next week. We're just going to keep tapping that button. That's fine. You can try and shoot me, dude. But I'm just going to make some basic maneuvers. Come on. You are dusted. Right. 
There's the other Titan. Warp it in. Right, let's disable this sack of shit before we move on. Okay, that's just a Typhoon. That's fine. Yeah, if both of these guys hit straight off the bat, we would be in uh, pretty rough shape. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Some basic maneuvering here, nothing too crazy. Just enough. It's definitely a lot easier to maneuver, actually, in this camera view. He's almost down, almost down. We've taken a little bit of a beating. There we go, there we go. That's enough permanently disable this sack. See how little damage our ship has actually done to this thing. Come on. Takes a heck of a lot of damage actually to disable this, which makes sense. Permanent sense of damage. There we go. Right. Actually it looks like our lead craft are engaging. So, what have we got? Tracker missiles, not what I wanted. Okay. We don't have a huge amount of weapons on this thing, actually. Yeah, so even if this thing's disabled, it can still launch fighters. That's cool. A little bit more. There we go. Cook that. She's gone. Wow. Literally does, like, no damage whatsoever. It's curious. Like, did about two points of damage there, I think. Alright, let's warm the sucker up. These must be extremely high intense lasers. High intensity lasers, I should say. She's going. She's going. Ooh, she's gone. Oof. This has been a good day. Yes. Not bad, man. Not bad. That was expensive for the Navy. That was very expensive for the Navy. Two Titans. Oof. That's a lot of lives gone. Lost with all hands. Oof. Oh, we... Whoa, we lost eight fighters there. We're now preserver of life. I like it. Ouch, eight fighters. Saying that, can you really stack eight fighters up against two titans? I don't think so. Fluctuating readings received from remote scanning devices indicate a force of indeterminate strength within uh -oh. the final descent field. Urgent transmissions received from Lee Command suggest that the assault route to be taken is now blocked. A successful attack on Earth is deemed to be dependent on the removal of this unidentified obstruction. Okay. Intermittent signal jams are evident. Drop a safe state. The obstruction is clearly a key command craft, which refuses to engage in attack protocol. Intelligence units suggest that it may be the Tsar's personal super titan. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's bad. The existence bad. of such a craft has never previously been verified. Yeah, well. All heavily armed League units are required to approach and engage this craft. Its destruction will signal the fall of the Earth Empire. You are required to ensure this scenario prevails. Well, uh, I, I, I mean, I'm going to certainly give it a go. Can't see what one Eclipse fighter can really do against the Super Titan and the rest of the battle fleet, but I mean, hey, let's uh, risk it for a biscuit. All in. This one can be fairly hard. Now we can get two endings here. Destruction of the Super Titan is vital. We have no information on its defenses. Uh, sending all available dreadnoughts to attempt destruction of the Super Titan. Support them and do what you can. Let's see if we can paralyze it. Look at how dead and lifeless Earth is there. There's a reason Earth looks dead and lifeless. 
because it's been stripped of resources. Okay, whoa, we're losing some frames here. We are losing some frames. Yep, we're paralyzing it, apparently. Slowly. I think. When we can actually hit it, that is. Okay, probably not going to work that well. Ah, that hurt. Oh man, that hurt. Yeah, I'm not sure how well we're actually hitting this thing. To be honest. We've lost a lot of ships. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to keep sticking and moving. Like we are. Ah, oh, we're losing dreadnoughts. We're losing dreadnoughts. But that's okay. We can lose dreadnoughts. That's fine. As long as we don't lose me, apparently. Okay. Plasma torpedo. Go. Just the one plasma torpedo, apparently. That's not exactly great, but, you know, it is what it is. Come on, baby. Come on. We're also losing ourselves. Let's get these tracker missiles out. Who can out damage who? Uh, it appears to be out damaging us. Come on. Oh, no. We're critical. It's critical. Everything's critical. She's going up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it beat us there. I'm guessing it beat us. Well, that is why I dropped safe state. It was something we should have known. The Empire could never afford to be defeated in its own system. Ah. Draco might have fallen to the League, but Sal was not negotiable. The Empire would rather die struggling than allow the League to wrest control of the Earth. So the League fled, sealing the warp hole as it went. With that action, Sal was consigned to a slow and lingering death. So basically, reports were hard to come by as we tried to satisfy ourselves with our grim victory. But they said that inside the ruined star system, a civil war was raging. The mighty empire was tearing itself apart, fighting over the scraps that were left. It was no more than it deserved. And yet, should we have dispensed such a cruel form of death on our enemies? So many of them were loyal to the empire by birth alone. Were they inherently evil? Whatever we felt, they were truly suffering now. Okay. So, what we got there, uh, that was actually the canon ending. Let's drop a save. Um, so, in the canon, the League is actually defeated at Earth, and they cut the wormhole off, which means Soul is basically cut off from the rest of the uh, systems and starves to death <laughs> because they have no way of uh, escaping the soul system until Colony Wars 2 so mission log so this is oh so here's our map of how well we did and that is uh, a slow lingering death. We got that ending there. Which is kind of interesting. So what we can do here is we can actually replay all the different missions. But I'm not going to do that. I don't think. Or maybe I will. I don't know actually. Draco system. I don't know how I'm going to do this. What we will do for now, let's get the other ending. I want to show off all the different routes. That's for sure. Are evident. Right, let's try this again. Is clearly a key command let's try this again. Demand. Right. The destruction of the Super Titan is vital. We have no information on its defenses. 
Let's go! Look at how fucked Earth is. So we have all of these ships. We're going to need to use these ships. Right, let's rain laser death down on this thing. No anti-shield lasers at all, which kind of sucks. Kind of blows. I love the fact that we just like lose a dreadnought basically straight off the bat there. Are we even in range? We are in range. Ah, okay. Definitely need to not lose so much shield straight away. Okay. Need to keep dodging these laser hits somehow, which is way harder than you would think. Yeah, we're taking way too many laser hits here. The lasers really are more accurate than you would think. Right, there goes our second ship. Man, come on. Pop, you bastard. Pop. Right there, he's gone. Yeah, we're, we are taking an absolute fucking beating here. Right, let's fire that. Uh, I think we're going to go up again. Yeah, I can see the whole status is critical. We're going to go up again, aren't we? We are definitely going to go up again. There goes our last support ship. We are on our own. Kind of interesting, actually, that they give you this really basic ship. This really basic ship to try and do this final battle. Destruction of the Super Titan is final. And to we be honest, on <laughs> it's really not that hard. <laughs> I'm making it look quite hard, but it's actually not that bad. Alright. Yeah, because otherwise, if you um, keep like screwing this up, you have to... Come on. Here come the lasers. You have to keep uh, playing th back through all those missions again. Now, I think we're out of range here. We are out of range. So, hopefully here we're in range. Are we in range here? We're kind of in range here. There we go. That works. That works. There we go. There we go. Even if we can just avoid most of the laser fire. If we can avoid most of the laser fire, we'll be okay. It's got to keep twisting. Twisting. Kind of. I mean, it kind of works. Sort of. I used to be really good at this whole avoiding the laser malarkey. Unfortunately, this is just one of those ships where you can't just blast and hope for the best. You really do have to kind of... Oh, God. And I think that might have missed. Note that hit. Which is good. We have tracker tracer missiles. Let's get both of those in there. But we have also taken a hell of a beating ourselves. So we need to try and out damage this thing as much as we can. But unfortunately, it humongously outguns us to a hell of a degree. Let's see if our scattergun can help it. Oh man. Yeah, it's not looking good, is it? <laughs> it's really not looking good. Especially as. Oh, God. I think we're out of range now. Yeah, it looks like we are kind of out of range and our guns have overheated. I think we're going to go boom again. Yeah, we're still out of range. Still out of range. Fuck. Hole critical. We're both critical, boys. Oh no, we're just out of range. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Pop that bass. Pop that bass. No. We literally died at the same time again. God damn, man. least I'm pretty sure it was something we should have known forever yep <sighs> the okay is clearly a i have a feeling that this took me a lot of takes first time round as well let's get that let's let's get this going oh what the hell are evident something actually hit me straight off the bat there this is lead command destruction of the super titan is okay Let's you drop a save here. Fuck it. All we're doing is showing off the different endings. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So, plasma torpedo. AS laser. Go. Oh, God, that just. That's mad how quickly that thing goes up. All right. Keep ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving, until apparently we're out of range. Oh, jeez, Louise, pig papa cheese. Yeah, that's it. I think those little asteroids there uh, crash into you or something. If memory serves. Oh, somehow we're doing a lot better this time, which is nice. Although it's rapidly catching up. Right, there we go. Alright. Can we select the right weapon, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. We should have this bloody thing's number this time. I say should. There's no way it should be able to outdamage us now. I say optimistically. Come on, come on. We might actually save one of our ships too. Maybe. She's going, she's going. There she goes. Nice. Oh. You are dusted. Whew. Right, that's two endings. Two endings in one video. Oof. <clears throat> Quite happy with that. At last. It was time for our species to move on. I suppose there were those in the League who felt pride. But I couldn't dig out such an emotion. I was exhausted. I could hardly comprehend that the war was over, and now I felt simply drained. The unconditional surrender had come from the heart of the Empire. We assumed this meant the Tsar was still alive. But once the drop to Earth had been made, and the League had scoured the Imperial Palace, it brought back only one message. The Tsar was gone. He had vanished. In those months and years following the bloodshed, the people of Saul left their homes and made new lives on the fertile colony worlds. I often wonder whether they find life without the Empire as strange as I find life without the League. Now that the struggle is over and the worlds rule themselves, something seems to be missing. Though it isn't something I'd ever want returned. Missing war. <laughs> and there we go. So let's drop another save. I guess we'll save it there. Why not? Right. Mission log. 
And that there is the best ending. So closing in on Seoul, we could have done better there. I think there's five endings, something like that. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to unlock everything. And I will meet you guys back here in the next video. So, hope you've enjoyed it, guys. A few more little bits and pieces to come. But until then, thanks for watching.